Okay, so in this video, we are going to learn how to graph a system of inequalities. And again, you can use decimals. So let me give you an example of a system. Um, y is less than 2x minus 3. And then 2x plus y is greater than 2. So if you look at this, you can see that the blue is my first one. So if I click on this, I can turn the green off so that I can see the blue. Okay, and then the green is the second. So you can see them individually. Together, just like with a system of equations where we're looking for the intersection point, um, we want that intersection point, but what we're looking at is the overlap of their shading. Those are all of the X and Y values that will work in both of these inequalities. The green will only work in this inequality and not the blue. Here, the just blue will work here, but not green. And of course, the white will work in neither one. So when we're solving a system of inequalities, where the answer is a solution set. And that solution set that works in both is where this shading is overlapping. Now, because these are both dashed lines, this actual intersection point is not part of the solution set because, again, they are dashed, and dashed means not part of the solution set. So if this was my homework problem, and I did it on Desmos, and I had to put it on my paper, I would draw, okay? Um, they are intersecting at the point 1.25, negative 0 0.5, so that doesn't have to be exact, but I would draw that one line's going up, one line's going down, so I'm still sketching, but don't make that intersection point way up here when it's obviously more down here. And then all you want to shade on your paper is the overlap, okay? So this is where the overlap is happening on the paper. Don't give me this, don't give me this, because that's not the solution set. The solution set is only the overlap. So we'll do one more. This one will be y takes me longer to type it in than anything. y is less than 2x plus 4. And the second one is negative 3x minus 2y is greater than or equal to 6. Okay, so here you can see the first one is in purple. So again, I can shut off that gray so that I can see it and then kind of shut off the purple. And then obviously this intersection point is negative two zero and here right here is that overlap of the shading. So again, if I were to do this on my paper, I'd want to make sure that I am drawing that um, the purple one is going up and that is a dashed line. Oops. And the other the gray one's going down and that is a solid line so i want to make sure that i get my dashed and solid lines correct and then the overlap is happening in this area and so any point there is in the solution set so that's all you have to do to graph a system of inequalities now if i gave you the question and i said hey is the coordinate point so now if i give you a question say is the coordinate point two zero part of the solution set. Well, if you go to two zero, you can see that it's not in the overlap of the shading. So no, it's not part of the solution set. The other thing you could do is plug two zero mathematically into both of these inequalities. Or a negative three, oh, that's supposed to be zero, times two, minus two times zero is greater than or equal to six and see if it works. Two times two is four and I did that wrong. And four plus four is eight. So yes, it works in that one, but negative six minus zero, negative six is not greater than or equal to six. So the coordinate point two zero works in one of them, but not the other. You can see that graphically by seeing it's not in the overlap shading and you can see mathematically it doesn't work in both. That will be part of your homework is they're going to give you a coordinate point and say, is it part of the solution set? You can algebraically find it or look at the graph.